What's up versus babies? I've got a new video with uh, on a subject that I've been meaning to talk about for a while now. Uh, for a long time we've had this question in the community and uh, today I've finally got the answer for you. That question is, where's Captain America's shield? We've been getting new equipment ever since Shield versus Hydra, I believe. Um, and that's where they debuted the plasma beam handgun and there, there's a Hydra rifle as well. Um, they also had added the Quinjet, which is kind of a little bit cooler, a little bit less generic. We even have the Ebony Blade. So if we have Black Knight's Ebony Blade, then why is it that we don't have Captain America's shield in here? Well, I've got the answer for you. If you want to see where Captain America's shield is, you just have to look right here. Uh, or on uh, this Captain America, the shield is right here. The answer is that they've designed the game in such a way that the characters and their unique weapons come together. You don't have to equip the character with its unique weapon, it just automatically comes with that character. With Captain America level 2, Sam Wilson, he, has, he gains a superpower called Shield Toss. So that actually means he's been designed with his shield in mind. You don't actually have to f wait to find his equipment. You don't have to dig through your deck to find Captain America's shield to equip it to him. It keeps the game much more fast-paced to just say Captain America comes with his shield. I mean, that's the default in the comics is he pretty much always has his shield. So to start the game, bringing out Captain America and him not having a shield is kind of silly. Like, there are times when Captain America doesn't have a shield, but when you're playing a Fast and Furious game like Versus, then you don't want to have to dig through your deck and look for a shield to equip to Captain America to make him as good as Captain America is. People ask, what about, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we got Cyclops' visor? Well, what's Cyclops doing without his visor in the first place? Like, he's going to be destroying everyone if his eye beams aren't held back by his, his visor. So his visor is just designed into the rules of the game. Likewise, Star-Lord, he's got an element gun, but you don't need to equip him to give him range. He already comes with range, which means that he's got his element gun equipped already. So again, it keeps the game more fast-paced because you don't have to dig through all of your deck just to get Star-Lord's element gun. Uh, likewise, Hawkeye, he's got range and his power is take aim. That means you don't need to equip him with Hawkeye's bow because Hawkeye's already got his bow equipped to him. And it just makes the game better that way. So let's go back to the Ebony Blade then. You know, if, if Black Knight gets his Ebony Blade, then how come Captain America doesn't get a shield? Well, it's because Black Knight doesn't have the Ebony Blade designed into him. And not quite as directly, anyway. He has the superpower wielder of the Ebony Blade, where you can pay an energy to search through your deck for an Ebony Blade and equip it to Black Knight. So you can see that he doesn't come with that, but he has a way to get that Ebony Blade. And then if you look at Ebony Blade, it says you can only equip it to Black Knight or Black Panther. So in this case, Black Knight doesn't have the Ebony Blade. He actually has to search for it first, and then he can equip it then. And likewise, Black Panther, his default, like Captain America's default state is owning a shield, but, but Black Panther's default state isn't owning the Ebony Blade. So in this case, giving him the Ebony Blade actually does something uh, as a bonus for him. So again, it's kind of designed in here. This is meant for Black Knight, but Black Panther can use it, and those are the only people who can use it. A lot of the other equipment in the game are things that multiple people can have or are vying for. Most people aren't vying for Captain America's shield. Only Captain America is vying for his shield. But the Cosmic Cube, that's something that the bad guys want, that's something that the good guys want. So it's not as generic as, say, a plasma beam handgun, so it makes the game a little bit more interesting to have these things in them. But they're more of the MacGuffins, that and like the Infinity Gauntlet. These are like the MacGuffins that people are searching for, and so you can equip them to multiple people, because it's not just one person who typically has it, or one person who's looking for it. These are things that like everybody is looking for. We kind of want to get Captain America's shield because, I mean, it's, it's Captain America's shield. It's just cool. But it's not something that anyone besides a Captain America uses. So it's not like we want to equip Captain America's shield to Hawkeye. 
because that doesn't really make any sense. I mean, it probably would be pretty cool, but just from a design standpoint, it's not ideal. So if we were to get Captain America's shield in the game, how would we want to see that? Well, if we look at a character like Magic, she doesn't come with a soul sword, but she can summon her soul sword. And by doing so, you pay an energy, wound magic, and equip a soul sword equipment token onto her. So in this case, this is a token that you don't have to dig for in your deck. You don't have to wait to draw it and play it. It just sits off to your side. And only when you pay for her superpower do you actually bring that out. So that's kind of the way that you might want to see a potential future Captain America's shield work. If you wanted to have some kind of dynamic defense or attack bonus with it, then it should probably come attached to a Captain America character that is specifically designed to use that. Likewise, we also have Hawkeye um, in the, uh, the main character. So we saw the supporting character, but in the main character version, um, he starts the game with a custom quiver. But then when he levels up, then he can use one of the custom quiver cards that you have. And in that case, you get all these different, you know, special superpowers or keyword powers, I suppose, that you can use for him. And that's when you know that you've got all the fun arrows. Like ordinarily, Hawkeye just deals normal damage, but when you get the fun arrows, then that's when you get to do the fun damage. And not just anyone can use Hawkeye's bow or Hawkeye's arrows, which would probably be pretty tricky when you're trying to use magic arrows or a grenade arrow. Like you, you want to leave that to the experts, leave that to Hawkeye himself. You don't want someone else like uh, Captain America trying to use those because he's probably going to shoot himself in the foot or blow up one of his teammates. So this is how you actually get Hawkeye's bow into the game, is, is that you have to design it into the game. Like he doesn't use, he just uses normal arrows presumably up until he levels up and then he can use the, the fun and fancy arrows. So that's kind of how, if I'm not saying that Captain America's shield shouldn't be in the game or Thor's hammer or whatever else. I just think that if they put it in the game, it should be very intentional and it should be limited to the characters that are actually using it. And if it's not limited, then it has to have some sort of reason for being usable by multiple people or the re there has to be a reason why you're digging for that piece of equipment in the first place. And I think it should just try to make sense as much as possible and not just be given out willy-nilly to whoever you care to attach it to. That's, uh, that's the answer to that age-old question of where is Captain America's shield or where is, you know, your favorite character's weapons or whatever. Um, the answer is they're already there. You're already playing with them. So just keep that in mind and uh, have a good time. All right, that's all. Bye-bye.